So let's take a look at zero divided by four, zero over four. So how do we simplify this? What does it equal? So the first thing is, let's look at something maybe a little more familiar than zero over four. So when we look at a fraction like one over two, one divided by two here, we're saying that we have one thing, that's the whole circle here, and we've divided in two pieces. So one part out of the two, that would be our one half. So that makes sense. But let's go back to zero over four. What does that mean? So we're saying we have zero things we're gonna divide in four pieces. So we don't even have this, we have nothing, zero. So zero things divided into four pieces, that's still gonna equal zero. In fact, zero divided by any number except zero divided by zero, that equals zero. Think of it this way. Say you have four friends here and you have zero dollars and you divide your zero dollars up and give them to your four friends. How many dollars do they have? They don't have any. Zero divided by four, that equals zero. So again, zero divided by any number, four, five, a thousand, that's gonna give us zero with the exception of zero divided by zero. That's a little special. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.